I'm Dr. Fiona, a sexologist and a urological surgeon, and if you've noticed your erections aren't as firm, reliable, or long-lasting as they used to be, stay with me. Because in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how a simple, organic beetroot supplement can support the exact nitric oxide pathway your body uses to create an erection, the same pathway medications like Viagra rely on. This isn't hype, it's physiology and current research. We'll talk about how beetroot's natural nitrates can enhance blood flow to the penis, the precise dose and timing that actually make a difference, who should avoid it, and clever mistakes that quietly sabotage results, like the mouthwash that can switch this effect off. By the end, you'll have a clear, doctor-approved plan. You can start today, whether you're looking for a natural boost on its own, or a smart way to complement your current treatment. If you're ready to take control of your sexual health, your confidence, and your cardiovascular wellness at the same time, you're in the right place. Let's get into it. Erections are fundamentally a blood flow event. Sexual stimulation triggers nerves in the penis to release nitric oxide, NO, which activates an enzyme called soluble guanylyl cyclase, raises cyclic GMP, relaxes the smooth muscle in the corpora cavernosa, and allows the penile arteries to open. This is the exact pathway that medications like sildenafil, Viagra, help by preventing CGMP breakdown. Beetroot is rich in inorganic nitrate, which your body can turn into nitric oxide through the enterosalivary nitrate nitrite no pathway. After you ingest nitrate, your salivary glands concentrate it into your saliva. Bacteria on your tongue convert it to nitrite. When you swallow, nitrite is absorbed and then converted to NO, especially in low oxygen tissues like exercising muscle and the erectile tissue during arousal. That means dietary nitrate can increase the supply side of the NO pathway, which is biologically plausible for improving penile blood flow. What does the research say? Multiple randomized trials and meta-analyses up to 2023 show that nitrate-rich beetroot juice raises plasma nitrate nitrite, lowers blood pressure by about 4 to 8 millimeters of mercury, and improves endothelial function measured by flow-mediated dilation. Those are cardiovascular benefits that matter because erectile dysfunction is often an early sign of endothelial dysfunction. Direct clinical trials specifically proving beetroot improves erectile dysfunction are limited and small. We don't yet have large definitive studies showing consistent improvements in erectile hardness or intercourse success with beetroot alone. So I present beetroot as an evidence-based vascular support for men whose ED has a blood flow component, not as a replacement for first-line treatments. Mechanistically, it may also complement PDE5 inhibitors by providing more nitric oxide upstream while the medication preserves CGMP downstream. But that synergy can also lower blood pressure. So we use it thoughtfully. If you're going to try beetroot, dose and timing matter. The active dose in research is best described by nitrate content, not the weight of beet powder. An effective acute dose for vascular effects is typically 300 to 600 milligrams of nitrate, which you'll find in about 250 to 500 milliliters of beetroot juice, or in a 60 to 70 milliliter concentrated nitrate shot that's standardized to roughly 350 to 400 milligrams nitrate. For powders or capsules, look for products that state the actual nitrate content per serving. Many beetroot supplements are not standardized and may be too low. As a practical starting point for adults without contraindications, you can use a standardized shot providing about 350 to 400 milligrams nitrate taken two to three hours before anticipated sexual activity. This is when plasma nitrite peaks, and consider a daily maintenance dose in the 300 to 400 milligrams nitrate range for two to four weeks to support endothelial function.
If you only have non-standardized beetroot powder, 3 to 8 grams can be a reasonable estimate. But because nitrate content varies with growing and processing conditions, results can be inconsistent. Organic certification reduces pesticide residues but does not guarantee nitrate content. Third-party testing and labels that list milligrams nitrate per serving are more meaningful. A few practical tips improve effectiveness and safety. Avoid antiseptic mouthwashes like chlorhexidine or cetylpyridinium for several hours before and after dosing because they kill the oral bacteria that convert nitrate to nitrite and can blunt the effect. This has been shown to reduce the blood pressure benefit of beetroot. Give it two to three hours to work and know the effect can last 4 to 12 hours. If you're using a PDE5 inhibitor, consider starting with a lower initial beet nitrate dose. Take it on a day when you can monitor how you feel and stand up slowly to minimize lightheadedness. Cooked beets are fine, but high heat and boiling can lower nitrate content. Juices, concentrates, and standardized powders are more predictable. Expect harmless pink urine or stool in some people, called bituria. It's equally important to know who should avoid or be cautious with beetroot supplements. If you take nitrate medications for chest pain, such as nitroglycerin or isosorbide dinitrate mononitrate, or you use soluble guanilate cyclase stimulators like riosaguat, avoid concentrated nitrate supplements altogether due to the risk of significant drops in blood pressure. Dietary amounts from vegetables are generally modest, but even then, ask your cardiologist first. If you have symptomatic low blood pressure, are prone to dizziness, or you're on multiple blood pressure medications or alpha blockers like tamsulosin or doxazosin, be cautious and discuss it with your physician. If you have a history of calcium oxalate kidney stones, beetroot is high in oxalate and may increase stone risk. You may need to avoid it or use only under dietary guidance. If you have advanced kidney disease or need to limit potassium, remember, beetroot contributes potassium. In pregnancy and breastfeeding, eating beets as food is typically fine, but high-dose nitrate supplements haven't been well studied. Speak with your obstetric provider. People with active inflammatory bowel conditions or sensitive GI tracts may experience bloating, cramping, or diarrhea with concentrates. Finally, if you have persistent chest pain, shortness of breath, fainting, severe headaches, or marked dizziness after using nitrate products, stop and seek medical care. Side effects are usually mild. The most common are beaturia, transient G, I upset, a fuller feeling, and headaches or lightheadedness from lowered blood pressure. Rare methemoglobinemia is extraordinarily unlikely at typical supplement doses in healthy adults. Concerns about nitrosamines pertain to processed meats. In vegetables, the vitamin C and polyphenols in beets inhibit nitrosamine formation, and observational data do not link vegetable nitrate with higher cancer risk. Let's put this in context. For many men, erectile dysfunction reflects the same vascular risks that drive heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, high LDL, obesity, smoking, poor sleep, and inactivity. Beetroot can be a useful adjunct to a cardiometabolic plan that includes aerobic exercise, resistance training, weight loss when indicated, a Mediterranean-style diet rich in plants and omega-3s, treatment of sleep apnea, and smoking cessation. If you have low testosterone symptoms, depression, medication side effects, pelvic surgery history, or significant performance anxiety, then addressing those directly is key. Beetroot won't overcome non-vascular causes. And if you haven't been evaluated, remember that new-onset ED can precede cardiovascular events by years. If your erections are consistently poor, especially if you also have decreased morning erections or diminished exercise tolerance, please get a check-in with your primary care physician or cardiologist for blood pressure, fasting lipids, glucose-slash-A1C, and an overall risk assessment. Here's how I guide patients who want to try it. Choose a reputable organic beetroot product that lists standardized nitrate content and third-party testing. 
for an acute trial, take a single dose providing about 350 to 400 mg nitrate two to three hours before sexual activity. Avoid antiseptic mouthwash around that window and monitor for lightheadedness. For a short course aimed at endothelial support, use 300 to 400 mg nitrate daily for two to four weeks, then reassess your response and blood pressure. If you're also on a PDE5 inhibitor, start lower, don't mix with alcohol excess, and give yourself time to see how your body responds. If you notice no benefit after a month, consider that the dominant cause of your ED may not be vascular, and talk with your urologist about next steps. This video is educational and not a substitute for personal medical advice. If you have heart disease, use nitrate medications, have kidney stones or kidney disease, or you're on multiple blood pressure drugs, please check with your clinician before using concentrated beetroot supplements. Used thoughtfully, organic beetroot can support nitric oxide biology and vascular health. And for the right patient, it can be one more helpful tool alongside lifestyle and evidence-based therapies to improve erections and overall well-being.